Hey, welcome to my channel. This is Shysters. Welcome to part so something. So part something of my Animal Crossing Let's Play. Enjoy my beautiful outfit. Lindberg, our new resident, gave this to me and he gave me matching outfit, which is amazing. Um, and as you can see, I've made a beautiful new path. So we're going to do some building today of a new area that I'm really excited about. I've been thinking about it for ages. So we're going to get going on that. So this is our new area. Um, I've laid down a little bit of the path and put some of the items around that I thought would look good. And here it is on my map. So you can see it's, it's a lot of brown. There's a lot of brown. Placing this path is really annoying to do. Um, and I want to include this guy. I don't know if you remember from my first entrance, I added this little guy there. So I'm thinking for this area, it's going to be like a... I don't know, like a worshipping the wooden frog area, you know, because you know how we all worship wooden frogs. It's just how it is. So I thought I'd make a little area and I've got these items to place around and I'm really excited. I spent so long making that path. You have no idea. I spent so long in it and I'm excited to use it. And I'll be really sad if this path looks really bad. So we're going to do a bit of a speed build through this and hopefully it is entertaining. Oh, well, it will be fast. I will promise you it will be fast. So my first thing I'm going to do is place down a bunch of trees and bushes because I want to hide all of the side bits where the dark path meets the side. So what I'm going to do is use lots of trees and bushes and fences and stuff like that to hide them. So I'm going to use a mixture of cedar, bamboo and just normal hardwood because I am too... What else could I put? What else is there? Palm trees? Palm trees ain't right. So I'm just using what I got. Uh, and hopefully it should make it feel nice and enclosed as well. That's my plan. So uh, as you can see, I don't have very many trees. So I did have to come back and add a few more. But have a watch. <laughs> this is my first time doing a voiceover because I set up my actually good mic. And you'd think, oh, you know, Shysis, wouldn't you do that earlier? No, it was vaguely difficult. So I took like three months to do it. So I'm doing all the voiceovers again because when I actually filmed these, I didn't know what I was going to do editing wise. And so I'm just like, oh, a tree here. I put a tree here and it's very boring. So hopefully this should be more interesting vaguely. We'll find out. Find out afterwards. All right, anyway, let's play the full thing. I might cut in, you know, when I feel like it. Who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Okay, so here's where I ran out of trees to plant. So I start placing down my temple floor pattern. And this is a real pain. This is a real pain to put this down because it has four parts and I gotta space them evenly and I am not good at placing paths. So I don't know why I did this to myself. I made this path and I made this difficult, but I do really like it. It looks a lot darker on the dark path because this would it be. Um, but I do actually, I hate when people do this in the video, but I have to say it, I do change this <laughs> because it's a bit much. I think it needed breaking up. Although I loved this path and I was very proud of it and I wanted to have it everywhere. It's not right. It's too busy. So you're watching this and then you're going to watch the later bit and be like that, like four minutes was a waste of my time. And 
it was, it was a waste of your time. But look at my path. I'm very proud. <laughs> yeah, it's very not usable, but I really like it. And I'm really proud of it. Okay, time to place some items and I really 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 wanted to use this gazebo so badly I love it but uh, it's so tall and it's so takes up so much space in this little space I said space so many times but it is a space uh, I really wanted to use it so bad but it didn't work and I tried very very hard to make it work which Ultimately, sadly, it did not. And I also decided to place in this little, like, grainy path around the sides because I thought, in my mind, this little tile that I had made, I guess if it meets the dirt, like, grime and stuff would have built up against it. So having this kind of dirt path border, it makes sense to me. I also, you know, it's funny for this path that I made that I was like, meh, you know, quick, it's fine. It's very handy. I use it a lot around the place. Um, but yeah, here we are, trying to get that gazebo in. It's such a great item, I love this. I love that you can walk through it. Simple, simple pleasures in Animal Crossing, having a large item, you can walk through it. Appreciate they added that a little bit. Maybe more next time as a treat for me. Uh, but here we go, the altar. This is the item. Now you can see in this why I got rid of the gazebo, because it's taking away from my boy from my wooden fish that's the star of this eye Liz can't even talk today this is the star of this area so the gazebo kind of takes away from it even though I'm sort of wanting the gazebo to be the star but yeah I'm placing around random bits I want some gyroids in because they're so cute and they add a little bit of like magical movement and sound to the area but I find them really hard to place because I'm an idiot and I customize them all to be brown or black or green and so they just like bleh, fade into the background so they don't stand out which was, I don't know why I thought that was smart but I did. So it's about three days later check the mood isn't this beautiful uh i love the atmosphere for this area but i had to wait for the trees to grow because i only had little things so here they are partly grown and then i'm going to put in the saplings to stop them because i like the tear upwards towards the outside of the circle if that makes any sense and then i you know got rid of the gazebo perfect move oh and i changed the floor so you can see what i did with the floor which i think looks a lot better but my idea here is that you cannot touch the altar. I put a fence around. It's dangerous. And then I thought it'd be cute to put the guys in the cushions, but you can't because it's, I don't know, Animal Crossing hates me. But I put them on the bowl. It looks very cute. And I'm just going to place around a few more guys. I'm nearly done. I love, again, the vibe with this time of the day and the snow. And it's like kind of that lovely, like, ready sunset. It's so good. And I also put one of Gulliver's big kids there um, as a big rock. I don't know. I didn't know where else I was going to put it. And I'm really loving this area. I just got to place it on some more paths. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. 
I like the idea of lore on my island, like this is a sacred spot, you know, the villagers come up and see the wooden fish and they're like, I love you, wooden fish, you're the best. Um, and maybe the wooden fish is evil, maybe the wooden fish is breaking apart this island, or maybe it's good, it's keeping it together, who knows? I don't know, no one knows, and you're not allowed to ask. Okay, we're getting to the actual near end here. Boy, watching this back, I do a lot of very unnecessary finessing, but it's necessary. I'll take that statement back. Um, but just in the last little bits, place of like glowing moss and weeds, and you know, my boys, gonna have a lot of boys, um, and yeah, covering up the last little spaces I need covering up. enjoyed those shots and I hope that you enjoyed this build. I had a lot of fun. I really like it. Please come and join my new wooden frog cult and yeah let me know if you liked it. Leave a comment, like the video, all that usual stuff. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.